Hey everyone, welcome to the second lesson in Bootstrap. Getting started with Bootstrap, the first exercise is using the Bootstrap skeleton. Take a look at the following website. It's supposed to use a Bootstrap template, but somebody forgot to include the Bootstrap starter code. Find the Bootstrap skeleton in Docs and the required scripts in the head of the HTML. You can use copy paste load the website again and appreciate how responsive and professional it looks with bootstrap so basically bootstrap provides a lot of great tools to help us make web pages but how do we start okay in order to start we need to add some code to the head of our web page and you can find this code in the docs if you scroll down to adding bootstrap It'll basically give you the starter code. So everything that's within the head tag, you need to copy. So I'm just going to highlight it all. And to copy it, just control C and go over to the top of the head of the document and then press paste. Okay, so there's a lot going on there. And actually, before we paste, let me undo that. And let's quickly look at what this looks like without Bootstrap because really we won't be able to appreciate the difference if we don't know what it looked like before. So this is our before. We have our first Bootstrap page and we want to resize this responsive page to see the effect. So remember, responsiveness means that here when we contract and expand it, okay the web page is going to kind of respond to that those changes and a few other features that we mentioned regarding style and things like that so this is what we got to start with and we want to add bootstrap and see what the effect is going to be so let's go ahead and do that so you are going to go ahead and paste this in and you want to make sure that it's at the top of the uh, head of your document so above that title that we already had okay so there is a lot going on here and in the intro video to the lesson they already explained what these different sections mean but let's just go over it together because it's it's not just important to to be able to accomplish these exercises and get through the checker that's wonderful and everything but we should also understand what's going on because our goal should be to really learn these concepts and add them to our toolbox so let's talk about the bootstrap code that we see here the first thing i want to point out is the css here so this link tag basically this code adds all of the nice bootstrap css classes so that when we use these classes on our web page it makes it look professional so we can still add our own css but this link right here links to a bootstrap css file that includes a bunch of style rules that will apply to our web page when we use some of these classes and we're going to practice that in this unit the next thing i want to point out is the bootstrap javascript this code adds the bootstrap sorry the bootstrap javascript which is helpful for things like animation so if you're adding advanced features like animation this javascript file is going to come in really handy these meta tags at the top they make sure that your code is compatible across all different types of devices and browsers and then finally the script tag that's underneath this this line adds jquery to the web page which is a javascript library that bootstrap depends on so we really need this link to make sure that bootstrap features will work properly all of these are really important to include and don't worry about memorizing it you can always go over to the docs and just grab it copy and paste it okay i definitely don't have it memorized but it is important to understand what's going on there so i believe that is all we needed to do for this exercise just double checking and now let's go ahead and rerun this code so we can see what the difference is so if we open this up in a new window we can totally see that there's a major difference now we have the styles applying here to the header and the different columns okay remember what it looked like before we added in this code so i closed that window but i'm just gonna go ahead and remove it so i can reload it 
and we can co um, compare. All right, so here's the before and here's the after. You can totally see that adding Bootstrap gives your web page a more professional look and also makes it more responsive. So now, if we are adjusting the screen size, we can see that the web page is automatically adjusting to the different screen size and just again pointing out your web page just has a way more professional look here you have these sections down here divided into columns you have this nice big jumbotron header we're going to learn how to do all of this how to implement the classes but our first task was to learn how to add in the starter code which you can get from the doc. So this is the first step in implementing Bootstrap into your project. You need to add the starter code and it needs to go in the head of your document. So that wraps up our first exercise. And if you have any questions, leave it in a comment below. Nice work, everyone.